You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and today I want to talk to you about five reasons that Nick Newman should dump Sally Spectra. Yep, I said it. I think he needs to be the one to break things off with her, and there are five reasons that I think it should happen. And, you know, it might be satisfying for Sally to walk out on Nick, if that's what you would like to see. But there's a chance he could break things off with her because of his history of doing something very similar with somebody else who had been involved with both him and his brother, Adam Newman. All right, we're going to lay this out for you. But first, if you haven't, please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our YNR updates. All right, remember back when Mark Grossman had just been recast and had returned as Adam Newman. At the time, Nick Newman was with Chelsea Lawson. They were engaged. They were living together. They were co-parenting Christian and Connor. And then, bang, YNR ended Chick, as everybody called them. And that was to facilitate the reunion of fan favorite Adam and Chelsea as a couple. Maybe they're going to do that again to reunite fan favorite couple Adam and Sally, who a lot of people really want to see back together. If you recall, basically, it was kind of weird. Like Nick had been Chelsea's mine, Chelsea's mine, Chelsea's mine. And then it was like, you should just go be, give me back the ring and go be with Adam because, you know, I know that's where you want to be. And he closed the door behind her. It was, it was just this kind of a really lazy writing exercise on Young the Restless to end that relationship to just fast track her getting back with Adam when in terms of the storyline at the time it was abrupt and weird but when has that stopped them you know and I'm trying to remember if that was a Mal Young storyline or a Josh Griffith storyline I feel like it was Josh Griffith but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments I love I love when you guys are serial watchers like I am and you know remind me of stuff that's great all right so here are our five reasons reasons that Nick might do the same thing with Sally that he did with Chelsea and call it off. All right. So the first thing is, is that Nick Newman seems increasingly drawn to Sharon Newman. And if you look at his romantic, his troubled romantic history, he often fools around with one ex when he's dating another. Nick has a hard time long-term keeping it in his pants, but he he seems like the good guy. And that's what Adam has tried to warn Sally about. He said, I know on paper, and he seems like this good guy, but he's not. And he also told her he's always about Sharon, and Sharon is endgame. Adam warned her about that more than once. And of course, while Sally does understand that Nick just had to run off to be with Sharon to protect her and Faith from Cameron, you know, she gets that. She's being very grown up about it, but even though... She can, you know, understand it rationally. That doesn't mean emotionally that it doesn't hurt her that Nick was not there during her lowest point in her life. So here's the thing. So Nick seems to be spending a whole lot of time over at Sharon's. Sharon is what a lot of people think is his soulmate slash end game. But new Sharon, the Sharon as she is now, the Sharon who is this benevolent coffee serving therapist, I don't think that she would cheat with Nick while he's seeing Sally. However, if Nick walks away from Sally and he's single, then yeah, I definitely think Sharon would 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 get back with him, even though the last time they were together, he fooled around with Phyllis and she <laughs> dumped him at the altar on what would have been their once again wedding day. So right now, he Nick is still on high alert after the thing with Cameron Kirsten, and that's part of why he's over there, but he is just feeling drawn to her, and so I could see him calling it off for that reason. There's also the fact, this is our number two thing, reasons that that Nick could call it off is because Sally isn't actually part of his life. If you think about it, Nick still hasn't made her part of Christian's life, Adam's son that he has adopted and is raising, at least not that we've seen in YNR episodes. They could try and say something about it later, but as far as we know, she's never spent time at Nick, at his house. She's never spent time with Christian. And when she was seeing Adam, he had her around Connor all the time. She and Connor were tight 
great. They were like, they were like buds. So maybe, maybe Nick realizes that he was holding off of this because at first he thought she was a fling. And then when he thinks about it and he thinks about who do I see myself with forever, maybe he sees Sharon and not her. Maybe he just doesn't see her. And so it doesn't make sense for him to bring her into Christian's life. And he decides to just call it off before they get in any deeper. The third reason that we think Nick should dump Sally is the bottom line, at least for me, tell me if you agree in the comments below, but I just feel like one of the big reasons that Nick wanted Sally, other than she's gorgeous and brilliant and all that, of course she is. I mean, who wouldn't want her? She's, she's a babe. But I think Nick primarily wanted her because Adam wanted her. That's a game that Nick and Adam have been playing. They've played it with Chelsea. They played it with Sharon. They played it briefly with Sage. I mean... <sighs> They're just kind of repeat offenders of sort of double dipping on women and creepily, you know, Victor was also married to Sharon. So, but maybe Nick finally realizes that he is destroying Adam by trying to hang on to Sally and keep her away from him because Adam is definitely destroyed right now. It could be a really good brother gesture for Nick to call things off with Sally, knowing that Adam just adores her instead of trying to screw Adam over because he knows that Adam adores her. All right. So the fourth thing to think about is the, is whether or not Nick really loves her, whether or not he really feels that depth of emotion for her. The one thing I know he feels for her is lust. He definitely likes sleeping with her. I mean, that's that's plain because they they do it like bunnies up until the time that, you know, she lost the baby. I don't think they're they're doing it now. But Nick didn't say I love you to Sally for a long time. And for me, it didn't necessarily feel genuine. It felt I don't know, strategic in a way. So, and remember, Nick didn't ask her to move in until after her baby had died. It's not like Nick was over at his house, you know, putting together a, a nursery in his spare room saying, oh, you know, Sally, you move in and here's the, you know, your little baby girl is going to be in this room. None of that was happening. He was not integrating Sally and this unborn baby into his life. As we mentioned above, he hadn't introduced her to Christian. He hadn't asked her to move in. They weren't hanging out over there for game night. And and the whole thing just feels like, you know, Nick's just not really in it, you know? Meanwhile, Adam told her he loved her a lot. I mean, you could tell he meant it, and he proposed to her twice, and she was fully integrated into his life in ways that Nick hasn't even begun to scratch the surface. All right, we've got one last reason that we think that Nick should dump Sally. We're going to dig into that in one second, but if you haven't, please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our YNR updates, and we'd love it if you'd hit that like button as well. All right. So the bottom line is Sally loves Adam. I think we all know that she's angry right now. She's hurt. She's grieving, but she, she really loved Adam. And then we have this spoiler for Wednesday, July 12th, where Sally considers her feelings for Adam. That letter that he wrote her really resonated for her. And we wrote a, we kind of had a standalone video about that letter. You can check, look in our YNR playlist and you can see it. And um, we quoted it, we read it for you in case you missed it. And we talked about, you know, what it really means. But maybe as Nick did with Chelsea, he's going to recognize that Adam loves Sally, Sally loves Adam, and set her free to decide if that's what she's want. One of those things, you know, if you love something, set set it free, and if it loves you in return, it will come back to you. Something like that. I probably just mangled it, but you, you know, you know that you know that the saying. So if Nick lets her go and she really loves him, maybe she'll come back. But I feel like that Adam and Sally are at a crossroads soon realistically Sally may be the one to walk away from her but you know Nick likes feeling like the the good guy the hero the big guy and so he may break things break things off with her as he did with Chelsea as like a magnanimous gesture like I'm gonna take the high road I'm gonna be the bigger person I don't care why he calls it off I just want them done because I really want Sally and Adam back together that's just me Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, 
iHeartRadio, and more. 